Hello there everybody, welcome to another Music Video Makeup Monday. I am your humble and gracious host today, Miss Nikki here, and we are gonna be doing a look today that is so iconic, so full of fun facts. I am just literally so excited to do this one ever since I started doing my research on it. Apparently the people outside are excited too. Anyways, so today we are gonna be doing Missy Elliott's Get Your Freak On. We are going to be recreating her amazing look that she has in this music video, along with talking about some of the really cool, amazing, nitty gritty facts about the song, how it was created, and then also the music video, all of that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead, jump in, and get started. The first step that we're gonna do today is putting foundation all over our face. So let's go ahead and start with that. Today I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation and applying that all over my face. So the song Get Your Freak On, right? Get Your Freak On was both written and produced by Missy Elliott and Timbaland. It was for her album Missy E, So Addictive. The song has some pretty heavy Bangra elements in it, and those elements actually come from the Punjab state of India. After doing some research as well, Bangra also dates from the 1960s in the UK. A group that was early to this type of music was this group. I, I'm not going to try to say it. Was this group. Um, and it was formed by a group of brothers who were in Birmingham in the 60s. It was a type of music that did become popular for its folky sounds, and then it also had like a modern twist to it, so it was a pretty cool combination of both at the time. But anyways, that was where the inspiration for some of the songs, sounds came from, especially when you listen to it and you hear the I would assume that that's probably where the uh, inspo came from. I also listened to some of the songs and I'm someone who loves foreign folk music so for me it was super sick and I really liked the music. Now let's talk more about the song. <laughs> the song was actually the first single off of the album and it was released on March 13th, 2001. The song topped the Billboard Hot 100 at number 7 in the United States and also was number 10 in both the Netherlands as well as the UK. The song was actually Missy Elliott's, also her very first top 10 hit. So this song was a smash, it was a banger, and a monumental song for her. As quick as that following December, it was actually named one of the top songs of the decade as well. So that's... That's big. The song also later went on to become number 466 on the 500 World Greatest Songs of All Time. The song had huge, huge, huge success as you would probably imagine given just the few facts that I've already given. But to give you a bit more context, it was actually featured in a lot of movies as well during that time frame including Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, The Rundown, Goosebumps 2, and 40 Year Old Virgin. The song has also since been placed on other top charts besides just the greatest, you know, songs of all time. It has also gone on to be placed in top chart lists on Pitchfork, VH1, The Village Voice, and NME. And in 2015, it ended up re-entering the top 40. And let's put that into perspective because that was a whopping 14 years later. Missy went on to perform the song as well at the Super Bowl. So it was another big year for her and for the song. Now let's jump into the actual music video itself. If you have not seen the music video, you should definitely watch it after this. I'll link it down below so that you can check it out. Um, but the music video and the song itself starts off with a line that I had no idea what it meant and I would just kind of re-say it as a kid thinking that I knew something and now I know the actual facts. <laughs> but the line that the song starts off with is Kore kara mina de mecha kucha odote sawago sawago I'm saying it wrong still. In Japanese, however, what that means is everyone start dancing wildly. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. 
The music video itself was directed by Dave Myers and had quite the stars that it cast. The music video features, of course, Timbaland, also has Ludacris, LL Cool J, Ja Rule, Busta Rhymes, Master P, Little Romeo, Spiffster, Eve, Nate Dogg, and Nicole Ray. The music video starts off in what looks to be something kind of like a sewer. Honestly, I couldn't tell, but it looks kind of sewer-like to me. Um, but a more nice looking sewer. Um, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it, but if you watch it, you'll see. It's kind of like a sewer and it just has like a giant pipe in it. There's a lot of greenery. There are a bunch of dancers down there. Obviously Missy Elliott's down there singing. Everyone is dancing, having a beautiful time. Missy goes through a total of maybe three to four outfit changes. For the most part, her makeup stays the same the entire time, but the lipsticks do change. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm gonna not talk probably during this point. When you do the eyeliner, just have it be on the top and then you can also line the bottom. In the music video as well, Missy wears a few different outfits. And like I said, a few different makeup looks. For the most part, the eyes are the same, but the lips change. She has a bunch of different dancers. She continues to kind of walk through to like an abandoned underground um, where there's just a lot of dancers down there who have body paint on, who are looking pretty interesting. Um, and just people are kind of coming from the ceilings and they're just like dropping down. Um, there's just greenery everywhere. And it's just, I don't know, it's like an eerie move, but at the same time, it's a uplifting mood since you know that the song is so fun. When it comes to creating these music video makeup looks, I always have an incredibly difficult time finding who the makeup artist is for these looks. A lot of these older productions, you actually don't find them. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just you can research, 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 but I'm just never able to find who does these works. But for this one, this one, I lucked out majorly. And the makeup artist who did all of her iconic looks for this look was a man by the name of Billy B or Billy Brassfield. He is a very, very famous makeup artist from back in the day. Um, still does makeup to this day, but a lot of his looks come from a lot of classic, classic music video and just production looks from this time frame. So to say the least, I was very excited that I was able to find him. For her lips, we are going to go ahead and line them and do a little bit of a filling action to the best of our abilities. We're gonna recreate the red look, not the other colors today, just the red look. So today I'm using a NYX Professionals lip liner and I'll show you how I'm doing it, but I'm gonna be quiet during this time because you can't talk and do a lip liner at the same time. <laughs> Wrapping off the video as well, there was also another Japanese saying that was put in the song and it goes Ichi ni san shi, which means one, two, three, four, and that is at the very end of the song. So there are two Japanese parts in the song and now we know what they mean. So that's pretty cool. So overall, this song had inspiration from both the Indian side of things as well as the Japanese side of things. Timbaland has always been someone who, when it comes to production, really incorporates a lot of different knowledge from different parts of the world and a lot of different styles in music, should I say. Um, so Timbaland has always been a big time favorite for me when it comes to this type of stuff. Um, it was really interesting just to see, I think, the breakdown of how all of this stuff kind of came about. To this day, this music video has 55 million and growing views on YouTube. And of course, selling wise, it has been a huge banger as well over the years. But this, you guys, wraps up the music video makeup look today from Missy Elliott's 
get your freak on music video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys try to recreate this look, please, please, please send me recreations. It is iconic and honestly, it's a beautiful look to wear every day. Billy really knocked it out of the park and I'm so happy that I was able to find the makeup artist who created this because I'm telling you, it is so hard to find. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm here for you guys basically every single Monday and presenting you guys some information and some facts about different musicians and going over the makeup looks that they created in their music videos. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys. See ya.